Oh, hi. I'm a smart investor. I dare say that because I understand the cryptocurrency markets and I am up to date on every new development, fintech and blockchain ecosystem. All because I watch the Inside Blockchain Show on Crypto TV Plus. Every Monday morning, Crypto TV Plus brings you news headlines of top stories, interview with an expert and give you detailed market analysis to enable you make the right business moves. Now you too can become a smart investor if you don't miss it. The Inside Blockchain Show, only on Crypto TV Plus. And keep watching Crypto TV. Don't touch that dial. Peace. This program is brought to you by OKEX, the most trusted digital asset exchange. Hello and welcome to the program. You're watching Inside Blockchain live from Crypto TV Plus. I am Bobby Ayadike. It's another beautiful Monday morning, the 29th of November 2021. Just one more day before the end of November as people all over the world are preparing for festivities, which is Christmas. On today's episode of the Inside Blockchain Show, we would be getting up close and personal with founders, key players, and industry experts who have successfully paved the path, carved out a niche, and created a digital solutions in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space. We celebrate them, and at the same time, we try to understand the idea that inspired their brands, their strengths and weaknesses, the challenges they have encountered, their fails and wins, and then we'll wrap it up with key tips and advice for the next prospective founder. Now, my guests for today are Nweze Ikechukwe Emeka, founder and CEO of Olili Food and Vent Africa. Vent Africa is a liquidity service provider that helps its users convert their digital assets to cash automatically. And also joining me virtually is Jerome Ikechukwu, the Chief Executive Officer of OBX Finance. OBX Finance is a cryptocurrency exchange platform that offers its users financial freedom. Gentlemen, you're welcome to the Inside Blockchain Show. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Wesley, uh, first of all, um, how are you today? I'm doing good, just stressed like every startup founder and... Um, well, as you can see, it's all over my face, but I'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah, you will be fine. Fantastic stuff. Um, so uh, before we proceed, um, first of all, I'll start with you, uh, Jerome. Um, can you kindly tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, definitely. My name is uh, Okeke Ikechuku Jerome. Uh, I'm a Nigerian, and then I'm a startup founder. You know, so um, basically been in this space, in the crypto space since, um, let's say, late um, last quarter of 2016. I've been there. I've been in the crypto space as a trader, as I have run, uh, I run OTC desk, and then I've run um, at least two startups in the crypto space. Basically, you know, what I've been all about is just, you know, building products, um, to help people, give people better accessibility to the um, cryptocurrency uh, economy. So that is just um, <laughs> that is just um, the big thing about me, or you know, the thing about me. I have to say. And then also, I'm one kind of person that likes traveling. I, I like traveling, you know, going to different places, um, and then seeing how cultures interact. So aside business, aside cryptocurrency, I do travel, you know, from time to time, you know and then see the world at large. Oh, that sounds like fun, you know. So um, that's great, great stuff. Uh, so Ikechuku, uh, this is your second time on the Inside Blockchain Show. So I feel, for the sake of clarity, just uh, tell us a bit about yourself for the first time as who are watching or who are seeing you on the Inside Blockchain Show. All right, my name is Moise Ikechuku Emeka. I'm the CEO, founder of Olili Food, co-founder of Olili Food and also the CEO of Vent Africa. Uh, I'm an Igbo boy from Anambra State, grew up in Delta State. Uh, I believe in 
I believe in creating solutions for problem. I'm a problem identifier and also a problem solver. Uh, because if you want to succeed in the tech space, you need to first of all identify a problem and then create a solution. So I, I strive as much as possible to be a solution solver. If I can't get a full solution, at least I will know, okay, I can break the problem down and create solution. And also, I love traveling. Um, Mr. Jerome, IK is my namesake. The CEO of OBS Finance is my namesake, Ike Juku. So yeah, yeah. I, I noticed that though. I, I was about to comment yeah. on that, you know. Yeah. So he's my namesake, and he has also put me in the line of being a traveler, trying to explore the world as as a young man, like every other person should be. So that's all about me. Very interesting. So um, now, when when would you say was the first time you ever conceived the idea for your project? When was the first time it ever? You know, you, you got to that point of realization that, hey, this is a problem and I need to create a solution for it. OK, let me start. Let me start by bringing in um, a very funny story uh, about my journey into cryptocurrency. Uh, I'm a programmer. I'm also into web server administration before now. I create web server and I help people manage their website and blog. So uh, when I was in high institution in 2012, a friend of mine who is not a Nigerian offered to pay me three Bitcoin to host his website on my server. I refused because then I was not really a fan of Bitcoin. I told him, you have to pay me in dollars and I will receive it in Liberty Reserve. So that was the first time I heard about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, but I never believed in it. Yeah. But um, after I finished my institution, I started getting familiar with Bitcoin um, in the in mid 2016. Mid 2016, uh, I get I started hearing about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and it became very popular the, towards the end of the year to me. And then uh, I got my first Bitcoin from a web project, and then Bitcoin was I think five hundred dollars or so. I was paid one Bitcoin for that. But actually, as, as you know, I, I was not really a fan of it. I liquidated it to, to, to um, dollars. USD. So as time goes on, I saw the need for a financial system or a store of value that will help people um, carry out cross-border remittance and do these things as fast and as easy as possible then it, it dawned on me that if somebody outside the country wants to send you money or send you a, a value, which we, we know as money, it will take two different processes. If you are using the traditional process, which is the bank, it will take days. If you are using Western Union, there are limitations. If you are using MoneyGram. So I said, oh, that's the solution cryptocurrency is bringing to the table. So I decided to channel my efforts from being a normal everyday programmer to going into studying and understanding how the cryptocurrency markets work, how the financial aspect of the blockchain technology work. And that was how I, I started having the, the, the mindset of becoming a startup founder that will have a solution for cryptocurrency uh, utilization in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Wow, very interesting, very interesting. So, um, Jerome, you're someone who has... Um You've been in the game for a while now. So now the same question goes to you briefly. When would you say was the first time you ever came up with the idea? Because I understand that you are the CEO of not just OBX Finance, but also of Paylot. So when was the first time you ever came up with that idea that this is actually something that I can do to create a solution, to make things easier, you know, to give people that financial freedom? So can you just briefly speak on that? Okay, um, so... I am also, and um, I used to be, I don't know very much of now, but then I used to be a, a lot of a crypto evangelist. It's not just me knowing about it. I used to tell a whole lot of people there. So when I got introduced into um, 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 Bitcoin in 2016, then I was, um, it was during holiday. So we just finished the semester in school. and was during holiday. So I think I was doing a part-time job. I was trying to, teach there was these two kids um you know 
PDA lesson teacher, you know, maths and then English and then some like that. So I got introduced and then I started telling people, you know, look at what I, my friend introduced to me about, uh, it's called Bitcoin and then it's internet money. And then I come across a whole lot of people and then they'd be like, how can I be able to spend this money? I cannot be able to spend this money, you know, I can see my Nera in my bank account. If I want to pay someone, I can pay it. I can buy anything with it. But Bitcoin, how am I able, how am I able to spend it? And then I, I was like, man, this is an issue. How come nobody has even thought about this? And then I thought I was the only person thinking about it. And then I said, let's build a bridge. Let's build a gateway you know, to enable people. If this thing is going to go mainstream in my community, then people have to be able to use their bitcoin just like they use their normal currency so that was why when i decided um i have to build um, a gateway to enable people pay for utility pay for services and pay for products with bitcoin and then uh, we started building payload and then started onboarding merchants for them to accept bitcoin with other range of cryptocurrency tether binance coin bnb busd and the rest of them so um, at first, um, you know, then cryptocurrency was still very early. So when we are uh, in Nigeria, it was still about getting, you know, lead up. So then we experienced some challenges with adoption because a whole lot of merchants, you come to them, they'd be like, we don't understand this money. I want to accept only what I understand. They give me cash, they give me their credit card, and I'm okay. And then we are like, there are a whole a lot of people out there using this cryptocurrency who might want to pay maybe then maybe they don't have access to their you know foreign customers you know they might want to buy from you and then they'll be like no so i started looking at yeah I, I can't just you know be there and then the company it's not getting the adoption i need i started looking at ways to get traffic the kind of traffic i i need and then we are like okay we are so much merchant focused maybe we can turn around and then be both sides you know get a product or a page in our product that will be user focused. We decided to build a one page solution for people to get crypto, to get off ramp crypto to Naira. Why? This is what happened. It's that we noticed that because our rates are real time and then our settlements were really fast. We noticed that people started signing up as merchants, but they were not really merchants, but they signed up as merchants. And then they create invoice pages and then invoice themselves and then send cryptocurrency to themselves and then get payouts in there. So they're not using it to sell products. They're just using it to get off ramp. So we decided that if some people are, are exhibiting this kind of behavior, maybe we should build a product that is focused on them. We built a one page, um, a one page, that we called it otc.payload.co. It was just a single page. It was not more than a page. So you can get off ramp off um, Bitcoin into Nera in just a matter of seconds. And then before we know, we never advertised that product. We just built it and then we are like, let's test it privately. And then we know it, the volume was blowing out. And then we are like, man, this was working. So we now said we should make it a separate product. That was when we launched OBS Africa. So we put it on a separate, um, on a separate uh, platform, and then people started using it. It was blowing up, and then suddenly CBN said, all banks and PSPs should stop supporting cryptocurrency companies. And that was it. We couldn't pay out automatically, and then it was a lot of issue because we cannot process the whole transactions manually, because what is the point? Oh. And then we now <laughs> said, uh, what is the solution we have to do for this? And then we said, okay, we have been in the cryptocurrency industry and one of the pages one of the issues one of the problems that traders experience is number one it's um, um hash volatility most of the traders most of the otc guys most of the traders in this industry so they buy bitcoin they go convert to usdt and sell a premium so sometimes they are being hit by volatility because bitcoin takes a lot of time to come to confirm and then on yeah, this very very sound very sound jerome if i can just if i can just step in there very sound sound stuff um let us take a, a breather we'll be right back after this commercial stay with us crypto is over crypto is rubbish crypto is crashing
And all of this is known as sport. And keep watching Crypto TV. Don't touch that dial. Peace. This program is brought to you by OKEX, the most trusted digital asset exchange. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Inside Blockchain, live on Crypto TV Plus. Um, today's edition of the Inside Blockchain is brought to you by OKX, the leading innovative cryptocurrency exchange that offers advanced financial services. Now, I'm still here with Mweze Ike Chukwemeka, founder, CEO of Olili Food and Vent Africa. Now, Vent Africa is a liquidity service provider that helps its users convert their digital assets to cash automatically. And also, Jerome Ikechuku, the CEO of OBX Finance. OBX Finance is a cryptocurrency exchange platform that offers its users financial freedom. Now, Jerome, um, just like we were saying before we went on a commercial, now, what would you say in the course of your journey, what would you say have been your core strengths and weaknesses? you know, on the journey of uh, creating OBX finance and payloads? What were your core strengths and weaknesses, briefly? Uh, it's, it's simple. We just, um, the first the, and the most important is just the, um, the, the desire to get crypto across everybody, mainstream in Africa, because um, I just saw financial freedom in it. And then not just financial freedom, fina access to finance, so just the burning desire to get it across. And then secondly, and also an important one is the burning desire to run away from poverty. So we, we just consistently, you know, no matter the challenges, we just consistently kept on building, making the product better, and then pivoting until we got what is working and then what is working well. So that's just it. Oh, great stuff, great stuff. Uh, Ike Chuku, uh, Mweze, I think I should actually find a way to define who is who so we don't, we don't have that clash when I mention this person's name. So I'll just call uh, Mweze. Okay, so when you look back at how far you've come, what would you say were your major fails and wins? Because there's something uh, Mark Zuckerberg said. He said Facebook was not the only product he built. There were other products he built. Now, getting to that point came as a result of having that freedom to fail and try and try again. So in your journey, what were your major fails and wins? Um, okay, like uh, I had <clears throat> I had an interview on with um, Mr. Chrisani of Daba TV and I talked okay. about how Olili Food is my, was, is my sixth startup. And it was the first startup I had that was successful, meaning I failed five times before I got it right. Now, I don't take failure as, um, as a backdrop. I take failure as a stepping stone. So my biggest, um, my biggest lesson, because I don't take failure as a, a backdrop, like I said, I take it as a stepping stone and a lesson. My biggest lesson so far has been when I try creating an email service provider for Nigerians, which is vmail.ng. That is Ventmail. That was the first um, startup I tried creating then. And I had some issues and the project was abandoned. So that, that has really helped me to grow and helped me to mature and see that when you're creating a solution for people, you just have to understand how it's going to help them. Understand the environmental factor. Understand the economic effect, understand government policy towards these things. Now, bringing it back into the cryptocurrency space or, or the startup which I currently run, which is Africa, or one of our biggest challenges has been the ban on uh, regulated financial institutions working with us, and it has made Autopia to stop. So now what we do right now is we create a liquidity pool. Okay. As the on-ramp for fiat. Where people, because people tend to safeguard their wealth in cryptocurrency these days because of the inflation. And you agree with me that the rate at which uh, inflation is skyrocketing in, 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 in Nigeria is alarming. Today, from the last two years to today, 
the rate are, the dollar to naira rate the fx rate have moved drastically high and as of today i will not because of some reasons i will not want to mention the current rate in the market so we we people tend to move their wealth to digital assets like bitcoin usdt and ethereum so we help them liquidate we help them upset their 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 want for for fiat so the 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 journey has been uh has been one that i don't know how to explain it but it's very it's very very tedious but at the end of the day we are able to help people um, um help people solve the problem the problem of getting that uh, naira just like what mr jerome said i actually use payload for my uh, food delivery company to accept bit uh, uh what's it called crypto to fund their wallet but to do to the whole thing we had to pause that service so vent africa challenge like i said is the cbn but our strength is that every day we see that the market is really really feasible the market is on ripe is on touch and people are coming in without uh, uh a, a main product we've been able to do a massive volume between April to date when we have launched. Oh, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, I, I, I didn't know about that, but that's, that's really commendable. So now, Jerome, at some point, you changed from OBX Africa to OBX Finance. And then uh, sometime in July this year as well, we you actually uh, celebrated a, a $2.5 million dollars worth of trades in one month you actually celebrated it so now why the name change from obx africa to obx finance just can you briefly you know help us make sense of that okay um so when we were obx dot africa it was just simple what we are doing is um giving people you know cryptocurrency um holders and traders accessibility to fiat easy fiat and then when the um, CBN, we started with Nigeria, of course, the NGN. And then when the CBN came, it became impossible for us. It's not very, really difficult for us to do that. And then it, because the main purpose, the main purpose, and then the, the number one purpose that I, we found that OBX was simply to give people easy access to crypto. If it's not easy, we are not doing it. And then because it was no longer easy to give people that NGN, we decided to pause it. And then we pivoted, we pivoted, and then we said, okay, let's give people a swap from volatile coins to stable coins. And then it was a, a global product. And that is why we just changed it to OBX.finance because this product is not targeted for Africans alone. It's a global product. So we had to um, assume a more global name. Yes, um, a month into the um, launch of the OBX.finance, which it's the OBX version two, we celebrated a $2.5 million volume in trade. That was what we did in a month, which of course um, have exponented, um, like in, in the second month, we did um, 6.5. On the third month, um, 20 million. Um, on the fourth month, um, 37 million. And then- Wow, that's that's mind blowing, you know? Yeah, on the 10th, on the 10th of month, next month, we will celebrate our five months um, since the product launch. And today, today we I celebrated with the team. We have done um, today. We crossed hundred million dollars in trade. We crossed hundred million wow. dollars today. And that's congratulations just, on that. Yeah, we ju I just decided um, to stop after the first month. You know, decided to you know minimize on how uh, we publish our volumes. You know, in the internet because you know Nigeria. I understand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, but today, today actually, today we celebrated um, um, hundred million dollars in trade, and then as of today, our monthly volume is at uh, above forty million dollars. Wow! Great stuff! Great stuff, Jerome. So, um, let's go on a quick commercial. We'll be right back. There is a way you can make money from supporting your favorite football club. Fan token. Fan token is the game changer. Socius.com, a trusted app for crypto and sports fans where you get to purchase fan tokens. Whoa! So crypto 
meet sports. And keep watching Crypto TV. Don't touch that dial. Peace. This program is brought to you by OKEX, the most trusted digital asset exchange. Welcome back. This is Inside Blockchain live from Crypto TV Plus. If you're just joining us, I'm still here with Mweze Ikechukwemeka, founder CEO of Vent Africa. Vent Africa is a liquidity service provider that helps its users convert their digital assets to cash automatically. And Jerome Ikechuku, the chief executive officer of OBX Finance. OBX Finance is a cryptocurrency exchange platform that offers its users financial freedom. Now, um, uh, Jerome, seeing everything that has happened so far in the DeFi sector, the DeFi hacks, you, you know, we saw the Poly Network hack, which is by far the you know largest hack so far, you know, and the whole CBN e Naira saga, you know, what are your thoughts? What do you think, you know? about everything that has happened so far and how it affects your uh, business? So um, crypto is still new, um, crypto is still early. I mean, there is no big thing that will not have issue, you know, moving forward. If it doesn't have issue, then it's probably not big. You know, when the internet started, it happened. Yeah, the whole, um, the whole boom exploded and, you know, uh, we had, the low, the lowest low, everybody thought uh, the internet is gone and all that. So I understand that uh, as we are still um, climbing, it's just um, one decade, there's issues like this will come up, you know, countries, we, 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 we want to resist them and then, you know, security issues. But I think all these things are just in a way um, for us to, you know, be able to perfect what we are really doing. So we as a company we understand all these things and then we understand also that there will be security risks to what we are doing we understand all, not just the security risk the liquidity risk and a whole lot of things and then we have set up a whole lot of checks and balances you know to be able to prevent us from falling into certain um, issues like this and then if perchance we can't escape any then we have also set up um i think the, the point is being able to fully be aware of all the risks that are associated um, in the field that you are playing. And then that is why when the CBN released the circular to the banks, and then we knew that um, we could no longer play in that sector very well. We were quick you know, to pivot and then give people a service that even blew up more than the um, original version. So we are aware. And then from time to time, we keep on um, learning about all these things, you know, what are the necessary security risks and then the other risks in the industry and then just keep on preparing ourselves and then um, putting up uh, safeguards to make sure that we don't fall. But I think um, this shouldn't stop anybody because it's only going to make the whole process um, easy and it's going to make the whole process better. So it's just uh, it's just what it is, you know. It's normal with any big thing. Any big thing should as, as, um, expect that. Uh, Experience challenges, yeah. That's that's great. Well said. So uh, just briefly, what, what what is the future for OBX Finance? What is the future for Paylots? What uh, what should your customers, your community, what should they look forward to? You know, we've seen innovations like the metaverse, NFTs. You know, what is the future for your brand? Um, I think. Um, the future looks very bright for us um, and, and and our users, I think they know this because we interact with them almost all the time. It's very easy for them to communicate with us. So we, what we are looking at is to become not just the biggest, um, not just the um, one of the biggest pl trading platforms in Africa and the world also. Um, we are also becoming a more like um, a digital bank because whatever the bank is doing, we are almost doing it and more. So the point is getting, giving people easy access to crypto. And then that I've started with trading. It's not just going to stop with trading, it's going to 
also include all the in, um, all the um, interactions crypto have with a traditional finance because our version three we are coming with dollar cards we are also coming with um, 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 utilities and then the whole uh, the, we are also looking at marketplaces you know for nfts and you know so everything crypto we are just uh, most of the things crypto let me not say everything we are just going to you know implement it on the platform and then make sure that people are able to interact with it easy and then in the fun kind of way so we are just like um trading platforms but um a really easy one and then a, a really um fun one to trade with fantastic fantastic stuff jerome so uh wednesday if you're still there with us what do you think um is the future because you know it just seems as if uh, we're gradually moving away from the conventional cryptocurrency and blockchain as as a concept is gradually moving away from you know the conventional trading um you know spot trading and all that to an ecosystem that has real world use cases you see innovations like the metaverse nfts gamify you know so what do you think is the future for your brand you know what should your community look forward to in light of everything that is happening? Okay. Um, Vent Africa, like uh, I've said before, is a liquidity platform. So we are focusing more on helping people liquidate their assets. Now, uh, we're currently bootstrapping. That is why we don't have an app yet. And um, if you notice online, we don't really have articles on. We're just trying to test the product. And so far, we've done like uh, $20 million uh, in trade volume. We don't offer custody. We don't have a wallet system where you can store your coin, but you can only liquidate. So <clears throat> since the crypto space is a very large ecosystem and all products almost all products uh, uh, on the crypto space uh, that are using the blockchain technology has ease or our own coin. So you can see the Axis, the Gamify, they have their AXS coin. Uh, the Metaverse, like um, uh, Sandbox, they have the Sand coin. Now, imagine I'm, 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 I'm doing something on uh, with a Metaverse coin, like a Sandbox, and I have the Sand coin itself as a reward for maybe an activities or maybe I played game online and I have AXS as a reward. Now, how do I convert that AXS from its current state to my local currency? That is what we are doing. And we've understood the market that every day people are venturing into one crypto project or the other, trying to make money out of crypto. Now, our, our product is gonna help you go make your money from the crypto space. We are here to collect your crypto and give you your uh, the, the fiat currency. And from the name Vent Africa, we are looking beyond not just the Nigerian market, but also to the to the West African market as a whole, the East Africa and the Central Africa. We are African centered for now, unlike OBS Finance as uh, a worldwide product. We are African centered for now. We want to help people in Africa liquidate their bitcoin liquidate their usdt their ethereum on the go you want to go and buy something at the supermarket and you're having your bitcoin in your blockchain wallet you just open your obx app your events africa app copy the blockchain address your bitcoin address go to your blockchain.com paste the address send a hundred dollar to that address it reflects on your event.africa uh, 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 account and the next 30 to 40 seconds or one minute, you get the, 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 the fiat, the fiat value of, of, of what you've sent. You can use that fiat value to go make payments for the movies, to go shopping, to go buy pizza, to send to family and friends. And also, you, you can also receive money from your family and friends outside the continent. So with Vendot Africa, what we're trying to do or what we are doing currently and what we plan on expanding on to. From within Africa, your, your relative in Germany, in the US, in China, that wants to send you money to your, your local bank account can just 
you can just copy your vent.africa blockchain a bitcoin wallet or any uh, any of the currency wallet send it to your family member he or she will send a certain amount maybe like hundred dollar to that uh, uh wallet address now you don't need to be a crypto slave to use vents that is what we're trying to do so when the hundred dollar hits your wallet automatically it's converted to your local currency and you get the remittance without clicking any button so we are trying to make cross-border remittance as smooth as possible crypto liquidation as smooth as possible so we are concentrating more on the financial use case of cryptocurrency than any other aspect thank you oh well said well said so we just have one more minute left uh before we let you go Wednesday, what advice do you have for um uh, people watching you your community out there because we understand that learning never ends and innovations never end so what advice would you give for someone out there with a burning desire or an idea to you know build something in the blockchain uh, ecosystem what advice can you give you know just briefly all right my advice is first of all you need to identify your strengths and your weakness do you want to go into blockchain development do you want to go into cryptocurrency trading do you want to go into uh, project management in cryptocurrency do you want to go into community management the cryptocurrency ecosystem is so broad that you can make money from literally anything you can even make money from a product called enaton where you 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 learn and you earn learn to earn so you first of all identify your strengths and your weakness and it's going to help you know what to do so i always advise people the first thing is get the basic knowledge about cryptocurrency what is cryptocurrency what is blockchain how do i go how do i go about it what does it do you get when you get those basic knowledge you'll be able to identify your strengths and your weakness like me i concentrate more on providing liquidity there are people who concentrate more on floating projects there are people who concentrate more on developing blockchain solutions you get so my advice to everybody is you need to know your strengths and you need to know your weakness when it comes to blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem thank you well said well said thank you so much Wednesday. thank you so much jerome if you're still there with us um thank you for providing the insight and uh, you know knowledgeable uh, uh, commentary to your projects uh, vent africa and obx finance and we also thank you for coming on the program today to you know share with us do enjoy the rest of your day thank you and that will be all on today's program. You can get more market updates and all the happenings captured within the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency on our website, CryptoTVPlus.com. Follow us on our social media, Facebook and Twitter at CryptoTVPlus to get daily info on our programs. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, CryptoTVPlus, for more amazing content. Today's edition of the Inside Blockchain Show is brought to you by OKX, the leading innovative cryptocurrency exchange that offers advanced financial services. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Bobby Enrique. Till next week. This program is brought to you by OKEX, the most trusted digital asset exchange.